If you don't mind, let me tell you a little bit about me and why I'm here doing this show. Growing up, I always wanted to be an artist manager. I studied the entertainment industry. I went to places where I met artists. I went to college and I studied music and business. I played guitar and sang hours every day just because I loved being around music. My dream was to be an artist manager. Well, I grew up. Life happened. I married a CPA. Since I had studied business, I started working with him in his office. I continued going to school in the evenings, studying music and business. I taught guitar lessons on the weekends. Six years later, I got pregnant with triplets. That definitely put a little crimp in my style. Soon after the kids were born, my husband split. Okay, now I was single and a mother of six-month-old triplets. And the only thing I could do was continue doing what I've been doing for the past six years, accounting and business management. But I did it. I also continued spending my time with artists and helping them with their careers on my, in my spare time. And I still loved doing that. Well, kids grew up, moved out, and I continued doing business management. And I spent what little time I had left over and supporting my friends in the music industry. I started a radio show on Indie 104 in 2011 called Highway to Success, which was a show that taught artists the business aspects of being a performer. I did what I could to help them with marketing and growing their businesses. And when I was on the air talking to the musicians, I came alive. It was me. It was my passion. I absolutely thrived on being part of their success. Until cancer took me off the air in 2014. And when I found myself in a position where all I could do was lay there and think about what was really important to me. It was one of the best things that could have happened to me. I thank God that I went through that and was able to stop living in such a busy lifestyle and to focus on what I was really created for. The cancer left me in a position where it was all but impossible for me to continue on the same path that I had been on. I had to make a career change and when I looked back at my life and what really made me happy and what was really important to me, I realized that I needed to be working with people one-on-one and supporting them into success. It's what I was made for. Not sitting in front of a computer punching in numbers. I've done that my whole life, and I did what I loved pretty much as a hobby. But the time I did spend with musicians doing what I love to do, I felt the most alive. So I took the steps necessary to focus 100% on coaching, one step at a time. And today, for the first time, I'm back on Indie 104 doing what I love to do, working in the industry I love to work in, and changing the world one client at a time. So how wonderful is that? So why am I telling you this story? To tell you that life is not always a garden of roses. It hands us some pretty bad hands sometimes, like cancer. And the results of that bad hand can either be negative or positive. The cancer forced me to stop what I was doing, look at who I am, and what I'm on this earth for what I really want out of life, what is really important to me, and then to create a real vision of what my life is supposed to be. And actually, had I become a coach before going through the tough things I went through four years back, I wouldn't have the passion for it that I have today. I wouldn't have the commitment to my clients that I have today. And I wouldn't be here on Indie 104 today talking to you and telling you, come on, let's do this. I know you can do it. I believe in you with conviction that I can have today because of my experiences.